morning. Welcome to Technopreneurship Week 1. Topic Objectives After Topic 1, you are expected to explain the definition of entrepreneurship and technopreneurship. Describe the similarities and differences between entrepreneurship and technopreneurship. Discuss the technological revolution. Entrepreneur and entrepreneurship. So what is an entrepreneur? Yes, it is an innovator or a developer who recognizes and seizes the opportunities. He is a person who creates a company or a business and discover and solve problems. He is also imaginative and inventive, opportunistic, risk taker, and self-starting and open-minded, which aims to make a profit from the enterprise. Now, what is entrepreneurship? So if you say entrepreneurship, it is an innovative method that focuses on finding business opportunities and unmet needs. So meaning, developing a solution that would address the needs and adds the value to customers, this is the process of starting a new company or relaunching an existing business uh, by pulling a bunch of capital in order to leverage the new prospects that have been found. Today, because of the complexity of specialized skills and technologies, New forms of entrepreneurs are developing. We have the technopreneur. So what is technopreneur? Technopreneur, this is our per, these are the person who is destroying the existing economic order by introducing the new products and services. So creating new forms of organization and exploiting the new materials. So meaning it is an entrepreneur who is technology savvy, which means they are imaginative, inventive and ambitious. Well, technopreneurship, it is a key entrepreneurship in a technological uh, intensive environment. It is a method of mixing technology with entrepreneurial creativity and skills. So what are the types of entrepreneurs? The major types of entrepreneurs include the social entrepreneurs, the serial entrepreneurs, and the lifestyle entrepreneurs. Social entrepreneurs. So what are the social entrepreneurs? These are the individuals who pursue the innovative solution to social problems. The social entrepreneurs adopt a style of which he or she can use to create and sustain the social values. So most uh, social entrepreneurs engage in a non-profit uh, activities and are overwhelmed by the social responsibilities and conscience. So they are prim primarily motivated to improve the socio-economic well-being such as education, the health, um, environment, and the health conditions of others. So examples of the great social entrepreneurs that ever live include the uh, Bill Drayton, Vinoba Babe, David Brower, Maria Montessori, Lawrence Nightingale, and some present-day social entrepreneurs are Ibrahim, um, Ibrahim Ob Obolish. We have the uh, Bill Clinton and the Dr. Abraham George. So those are the active social entrepreneurs. And then we have the serial entrepreneurs. If we say serial entrepreneurs, these are individuals who continually comes up with the new ideas. So meaning, they start the business and oftentimes sell to inventors or the shareholders. So the serial entrepreneurs start up um, several business with a little intention to operate any of them for a long time. So they are high risk takers with a lots of unique ideas 
and not always interested in a career with a particular business or so who are lifestyle entrepreneurs so these are the individual who create profit from personal passion he or she put their lifestyle ahead of every opportunity so while most entrepreneurs are motivated to build a business to a certain stage and sell to shareholders or investors the lifestyle entrepreneurs chooses to build a business they are passionate about and grow the business into a long-term residual income that is sustainable so most the lifestyle entrepreneurs are completely self-employed so this allow them to put uh, or to set up their projects in a nutshell so meaning a lifestyle entrepreneur is an addict of whatever they find themselves doing so they do it so well and commit their time resources and energy to see their project is completed so these are the great entrepreneurs that we have from Bill Gates from Microsoft up to Mo Ibrahim of Mo Ibrahim Foundations. Functions of entrepreneurs. Most entrepreneurs are risk taker. An entrepreneur bursts energies in starting up and sustaining his or her business. She assumes uh, various responsibilities that may come up in the course of his business, which may be caused by either change in time or quality. He is always ready for the emergency, and should uh, competitors emerge, thinks of strategies to outshine them. So to be successful, so you must accept all the challenges that came your way. So you cannot accept the ones you like. He is also a salesperson. An entrepreneur must be a good salesman. So if one cannot sell an entrepreneur, one cannot succeed. So he is responsible for marketing and advertising his products or services. He is also a go-getter. Entrepreneurs do not only set goals but also try so much to achieve their goals so most people know how to get goals but few people know how to achieve them that is how to identify an entrepreneur the entrepreneur should set a big goals which is scary for an ordinary man he is also a leader one challenge of being an entrepreneur is you have to lead them you have to be in charge you must be the forefront of your business, at least during the startup. So you should note that one cannot make it alone as an entrepreneur. So outstanding leaders go out to, the, to boost the self-esteem of their personnel. So if people believe in themselves, so it is amazing what they can accomplish. They also are decision maker. Entrepreneurs determine the objectives of their business and they should know what is suitable for time. So he decides and maintains the potential investors or financiers of the enterprise and also manages the funds available. He makes sure that the business venture is good or in a good relationship with the public authorities and society. So he also decides to market his products and services. An entrepreneur identifies and solves problems. Uh, he is quick to identify any problem facing by his business and immediately seek for a solution. Some experts in the industry that says that the new entrepreneurs who have become successful have these common uh, entrepreneurial traits. Number one is being passionate. So this is the most significant feature that every entrepreneur has. So they're successful because they love what they are doing. Strong and work ethic or strong work ethic. 
Um, entrepreneurs who are popular make sure that they are always the first to go to the office and the last to leave. Productive businessmen are those who still have their minds at work even though they are not at work. They're strong for uh, people skill. Meaning a good entrepreneur is someone who has outstanding communication skills to market their goods to consumers and to inspire employees. So many businessmen who have the ability to inspire the workers can see that their companies grow in no time. And then we also have the determination. Determination, productive uh, businessmen are never adversely affected by the defeats they face. They are also creative. So creativity is the ability to find relationship between the unrelated situation or events. So it is one of the main aspects of creativity. We also have the competitiveness. So every month and every year, the number of companies created is growing. So because every entrepreneur thinks that they can do as much better job than the others. So, it is an entrepreneur who highlights the success records of his company. The self-starter. So, every effective entrepreneur knows that if anything has to be done, it has to be done as it now, as in on its own. So, they need to set the criteria and ensure that the projects follow the direction. They are also open-minded. For those entrepreneurs who are successful or follow those who have been successful, realize that every circumstance and occurrence is a business opportunity. Then we have the confidence. A successful entrepreneurs are optimistic enough that their experience and know-how would help them make their business concept a success. And finally, we have discipline. Productive entrepreneurs often concentrate their actions or doing business and removing threats or barriers to their goals. Small business versus entrepreneurship. So businessman is more on analytical thinker, while the entrepreneur is more possibility thinkers. So this means that, for example, a businessman main focus is not to, is not on innovation, but more on making sure a company is making a profit. Types of entrepreneurs: Technology entrepreneurs require skills, human capitals, making use of their expertise and abilities to work collaboratively to explore and harness the scientific and technical progress for the good of the client. So the two types are technology developers and technology users. If we say technology developers, these are the inventors. Meaning, they are the one who develop a new technology capable of driving a new business. So the inventor is the first type of technopreneurship who uses scientific method and creates and develops software application. Well, technology users are those persons who are um, innovators. They are the one who you see the new technology development and understand how it can be applied to meet a market need. Technology users email its uh, email list as an outlet data that embeds contact details of users of the various technology using the hardware and software and the information technology to help the marketing messages to decision makers of technology companies across the globe. Technology developers. So these are the technology developers. We have the marking, uh, mapping world, which recognizes the power of data visualization with a broad expertise in cartography, uh, charting, interactive design, and database technology. 
We also have the Rua Design, which provides a website, uh, programming, and consultancy services for a variety of organizations, which are mainly on the field of international and community development. We also have the Robota. It is a company that develops software apps, websites, and more complex IT solutions for a variety of clients. Technology users. We have the cloud services, the enterprise resource planning and customer relationship management, and then we also have the project management. The technological revolution. This starts with the organ transplant in 1954 in the name of Dr. Joseph Morai, who removed the kidney from one human patient and implanted it to another. We also have the robots and artificial intelligence, wherein the robots assemble products is better, faster, and often cheaper than the manual laborers. We have the electronic fund transfer, the nuclear power, the mobile phones, which has the idea for cellular phone services, uh, back at least in 1947. We have the space flight, Necessary to fly men at the moon and back. So we also have the personal computers, the digital media, um, the camera doesn't lie when it when in fact it, uh, it is a uh, heard much since at least of Photoshop 1.0 in 1990. And then we also have the genetic engineering that everyone knows, diba? knows the Watson and and Craig, who unveiled the secret of the DNA in 1953. And then, of course, we have the internet. To summarize the lecture for week one, so we have entrepreneur and technopreneur, wherein the entrepreneur creates a company which discovers and solves problems which aim to make a profit from an enterprise while technopreneur is a technology savvy entrepreneurs and then we also have the difference between the entrepreneurship and technopreneurship wherein the entrepreneurship is an innovative method of relaunching an existing business and then technopreneurship as technology plus entrepreneurship is what we call the technopreneurship and then for the technology revolution, it is uh, known to us that the organ transplant was started on 1954 up to the development of the internet. Thank you. So these are the references used for week one technopreneurship lecture discussion. Thank you.